This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. I imagine that I might be quite similar to some of you in that I'm a really big fan of the aesthetics and some of the specs of the Ibanez AZ. I think that was a real triumph of a guitar. But they are a super important part of guitar history. Fujigen. Um, and hopefully some of you might benefit from knowing that these are the people that make Ibanez guitars, the Prestige series. And I grabbed this one because uh, I saw it on Reverb. It's got a little bit of a ding uh, just here. Um, but I wanted to do a video or two or maybe more on this. You can see on the back there, built made in Japan. Um, it's got the circle fretting system. It's going to feel pretty much like an Ibanez AZ to play. A um, little dent there, a little dent there. But this, because of the damage, was less than £400. And for a Japanese instrument, I think that's pretty incredible. Uh, I'm going to plug it in, see how much it weighs. Yeah, but yeah, instead of an Ibanez AZ, uh, it, certainly instead of the Indonesian stuff, I would just grab one of these. They're uh, made in the Japanese factory, the same place that the Ibanez AZ Prestige are made. And those, of course, cost, you know, 1500 to 2000 pounds. This cost 375. It's got to be probably the cheapest Japanese made instrument today. Uh, they would normally be about 500, maybe a bit more, but still pretty bonkers money for a Japanese made instrument. So this one coming in seven pounds, five ounces, a really, really nice weight. Uh, the key difference between this and an Ibanez AZ would be no lumen lay dots and no stainless frets. So um, other than that, I think the specs are relatively similar. And of course the hardware and all that stuff is not Ibanez specific, but 
the, the bare bones of the guitar and the uh, factory where it's made, uh, you know, those are the important bits, I think. As a huge fan of the Ibanez AZ kind of vibe, uh, I've always kind of looked at them with sort of envy, um, but never really felt like I could necessarily justify the purchase because they're quite expensive, I think. Um, but an Ibanez AZ by another name, these are FGN guitars. They're made in the same factory by the same folks that make Ibanez guitars. From what I can gather, they use the same kind of circle fretting system. The main differences would be that you don't have a roasted maple neck and you don't have stainless steel frets. That's one area where they're making a bit of a saving. The headstock is slightly different. You know, some of the design bits are slightly different. Um, but in general, I'm totally blown away by this guitar, and especially for the money. So I paid £375 for this. Um, because it got knocked over during the uh, photo shoot, so it's got a couple of um, like little dings in it and stuff. But it doesn't really matter. This is a super lightweight guitar, seven pounds and five ounces. Um, it's playing really lovely, and I feel like uh, this is just a bargain guitar. Even for me, I don't necessarily know that I even favour uh, roasted maple all the time. Uh, to me, there's something about your, your kind of standard maple that makes a lot of sense too. A basswood body, which would be um, unconventional on a more traditional guitar, you know, like a Tele or a Strat. Um, but for an Ibanez, they tend to use basswood, I believe. I'm really, really impressed. And essentially, I think, I don't know, I can't think of anything more professional, more gig-ready than this at this price point at all. Like, to me, this is a step above Sire. I think this is a step above PRS, definitely a step above so much stuff, you know, and oftentimes at this price point, sometimes the things that you can get might end up being a little bit heavier or, you know, having a few corners cut and stuff, but this just feels really good to play under the hand. Um, the neck shape I really like. It's got a compound radius, again, not a thing that you would generally find on cheaper guitars. And also the Japanese are, I think, still really well regarded as fantastic craftsmen and that is kind of the whole, the whole point of the Ibanez prestige right is that Japanese built Ibanez the, the Fujigen built Ibanez it's been a thing now for you know decades still a thing I still think they're building fantastic stuff I don't know if they've got some sort of agreement with Ibanez not to market these too hard um, because they do make both an S type and a T type and uh, so I think if you are looking for an Ibanez AZ type instrument um, but can't afford it, I also think these are a step above the Indonesian models from what I've played. Um, not that I've played loads, there is a reason that people still really appreciate the prestige side of the Ibanez stuff, right? Um, you know, the Japanese do build really good guitars. Um, the circle fretting system, uh, I'm not sure really if it makes a huge difference. I just know that the guitar plays really well, sounds really good, the frets are really well done. Um, let's just do some. So we've got a coil split here on our neck pickup, so. Then a middle position. See the coil split does nothing on the bridge.
a, a really cool guitar, I think. <laughs> guitar under 400 pounds and this is under 600 pound if it didn't have the marks on it about 550 ish that is this good feels this good to play sounds this good it's built in japan for me it ticks all of the boxes um as a thing to be really excited about so uh, i just wanted to share that with you in case you've not heard of fgn not the best name in the world a really, really fantastic guitar. I think probably one of my favourite things that I've ever played under £1,000. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for something to scratch that kind of Ibanez AZ itch, maybe something that's a little bit slightly different. Um, maybe if you're looking at PRS Silver Skies, uh, SEs, or, you know, these sorts of things. Um, sort of traditional-ish type guitars, but for less than £1,000. I think FGM... Um, for me, I think they've got to be top of the list there. There's no one else making um, this sort of instrument in Japan for, you know, sort of around the £500 mark. I think that's pretty incredible. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Have you tried one? Are these a, a really well-kept secret? Or does everyone already know about them? Um, yeah, just really quite blown away by that. Thank you for stopping by. If you wanted to like and subscribe, you could. And I'll catch you in another video soon. Still no baby.